Do you see this pocket is connected to the dart? I'll show you how to draft this pocket. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. My name is Jean and I post pattern making tutorials every week. Please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when my next video drops. The other day I was searching online shopping sites and I found these pants. The pocket details caught my eyes and I wanted to teach you how to draft this pants. We are not going to draft the whole pants. If you have pants patterns or blocks that fit you, you can start from there. This is my pants, front and back. I'm going to lower the waistline first. One inch and a half, both front and back. Because this pants doesn't have a zipper, you need to increase the waist to go over the hip when you put it on. Back panel first because it's easier. Remove the dart and lengthen the waist same as the hip width. So hip and waist are the same. Draw a new side seam. For the front panel, I'm going to straighten the center front. And for the side seam, if I draw a straight line, it's not going to be enough because we need this dart. And if this dart width is too small, it's hard to use this dart as a seam allowance when we make a pocket. So I'm going to make this dart width 3 quarters of an inch. And add 3 quarters of an inch to the side seam. After we stitch this dart, the waist and hip will be the same. Correct? Okay, lengthen the dart almost like crotch and draw a line for the pocket entrance. It's your design line. For me, 2 inches and 3 quarters at the center and 4 inches and a half at the side. This line will be folded over. Let's say half of an inch because the stitches look like half of an inch. To draw a fold over, draw a line parallel to the pocket line, half of an inch distance, and mirror this part along the pocket line. When you fold this pocket line, this part will be under the pocket, but it's not a seam allowance. Now you need an upper pocket. Draw a pocket, whatever the length you want. Okay, drafting is done. Let's trace them out. Front pant, green one, half of the dart, and this part fold over. Under pocket, orange color, from the waist to the bottom of the pocket. And the last piece, upper pocket, half of an inch down from the pocket entrance and the bottom of the pocket. And back pant, green one. Let's add seam allowance. Half of an inch all the way around for the back. Don't forget notches for the seam allowance. And the point for the pocket. For the front, measure the dart width here. Half of this amount will be the seam allowance for this line. And half of an inch to the rest of them. You need notches and a drill hole for the dart end. Upper pocket, half of an inch seam allowance all the way around. Under pocket, for this dart line, make it seam allowance the same as you have here, like a half of this dart width. And then half of an inch to the rest of them. For the waistband, you can make just one rectangle and have a seam on the center back. This is the center front. These are the side seams. And the top will be folded. Half of an inch seam allowance all the way around. 
or you can make front waist band and back waist band separately so you have side seams. Please click like button, it means a lot to me. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Have an awesome week! See you next time!